welcome so for this lesson I'm gonna show you how to teach you how to use variables in Python a variable is a memory space that you allocate in your program it can contain all sorts of data um, data types of string integers and so forth you can declare a variable and remember it can be any name it shouldn't have a space in between it okay so let's say um, name equals my name so what you see there is a variable name and what you see here is the content of that variable print name okay <clears throat> it says my name that's one way of doing it we can also declare um, we can declare other variables for example um, number okay equals lesson number 10 when you are declaring variables always remember that it's important to give a variable a name that corresponds to its content for example if I wrote name and I say my name and I wrote something like um, J Jed yeah Jed or Jedi yeah that can be my name and my number is 10 so I can write something like print number okay so it says Jedi 10 So a variable is something you can use over and over. Now, there's another way of declaring these variables. I can write something like this. Name, comma, number, equals. So we're declaring two variables all in one line, separated by the comma. Now, the name, I can say, because the name is a string data type, it has to be in speech marks. So I can write Jedi, OK? and for number i can just write number 10 if you put 10 in speech marks like this then it's no longer an integer it's in fact um a string data type okay it's like a word but if it's like this then it becomes a um a, an integer now here's the thing you can also combine variables but there's a problem okay and i'll show that to you i can say print I put the brackets and I say name, okay, print name, and it will print the name, okay. Now, if I, let's say, I comment this out so it doesn't show anything, and I do that, it's going to do 10, Jedi, because it said at number 5, print number, okay. And then it's going to print the name as Jedi because name is declared here. Jedi okay now print name I can do that but however if I want to add the number okay <clears throat> if I wanted to add the number now sometimes it can be a problem because if you say you want to add a number and you add some strings as well because these are two variables but if I say print name comma and I added uh, my number is okay and I write number okay now if I let's say remove these two I'm gonna comment this as well in some platforms for example if you're using another uh, Python platform this can fail okay because number has to be converted to a string data type for this whole message to display whereas in others now like this one here number will work okay my name and my number is number okay that one can work however with some platforms you have to convert this to a string okay you can do something like this let's see where the error if the error message would do here if I use this plus sign you see now it's showing there's a mess there's a, uh, a problem it's saying you can only concatenate a string not integer to a string okay now if you say my number is number this is an integer data type and this is a string okay string means um words okay any character other than a number so for me to correct that i can write something like 
str, which means we are converting this number to string. Now, when you write this, number has to be in bracket like that, okay? And remember, there's a starting bracket here after the word print. So you have to close with two brackets. You can do it that way, okay? And it's going to be okay. We can also do it a different way. You can, let me copy this and paste it there. And then I write F at the end. But then I don't need to write this. I can just write curly braces. Um, write number, okay? And this then becomes pitch marks. <clears throat> okay? Pitch marks. Okay, now then I I can print this off. What F does is to convert everything here inside, including the variable, into the same format. Okay, it converts everything into the same format, and then it still says my number is ten. So this is how you uh, declare variables. Uh, you write the variable name, and this is is day is value. And then if you want to display it on the screen, you use the print function. Another way of using variables, you can say num1 or number1 is, let's say, 5, okay? And number2 is, let's say, uh, 8. So you can say answer equals num1 times num2. Obviously, you know what's going to happen here, okay? Uh, let me remove that indentation. Answer equals num1 times num2, and then I can say print. Uh, I put f there, then speech marks, okay? Speech marks, remember? And I say num1 times, I'm going to use the x, then curly braces num2 equals... And I write there, curly braces again, answer. Okay, we're going to format everything in here. Okay, then we're going to say num1, which is this number, times num2. You can be an x, that's fine, okay? Equals answer. All right? Which means 5 times 8 equals 40. That's another way of doing it. And then if you want, you can use a plus sign, plus, and a plus sign there. And you do it again, and you say 5 plus 8 is 13. So what I think you can do now is to, you're going to, your task is declare your own variable, variables, okay? And your variables should be, okay, um, name, comma, school, age, and um uh best okay name school age and movie display your variables workout workout the square numbers find the square numbers for these okay now remember square number I'll give you an example. A square number of three, uh, a square number of four would be 16, which because four times four is 16. Okay, so I need you to write uh, uh, some variables showing that the square number of two is this. Square number of three is that. Using variables. Okay. Thanks for watching, and I hope you've learned something from this lesson.